Hello, my name is Rona glazer Monk, and I'm a Deputy Director at the UK's Department for Transport. This year, the UK holds the presidency of the International Transport Forum, and I've had the honour of chairing the first roundtable discussion of 2022, focusing on shaping post-COVID mobility in cities. Members of the ITF identified this topic as their highest priority discussion for this year, and they have been asking, how can policymakers learn from the pandemic to make the best possible decisions during this crucial period? And how can we make transport more sustainable and more inclusive than what we had before? This roundtable brought together delegates from six continents and 21 countries, including policymakers, transport operators and the private sector. We've had fascinating three days of discussions trying to answer these questions. So we started by looking at how travel behaviour changed during the pandemic. And we found that many people shifted to working from home. Walking increased and public transport tended to, usage tended to decrease. Indeed, suspending public transport were the common trend across the world. Car usage varied greatly, increasing in some cities and decreasing in others. However, people's decisions around how and when to travel looked very different depending on their location and personal circumstance, with some people having to risk their health in order to be able to put food on the table. In fact, one of our major findings is that in many cases the pandemic exacerbated inequalities. Low-income workers in essential worker roles were typically most affected because they were unable to work from home. Changes to public transport services, including longer wait times, a move to cashless payments and reduced boarding options made travel more challenging, particularly for women and those with mobility issues. On the other hand, the pandemic has provided an opportunity for policymakers and transport operators to decarbonise our transport systems and promote a shift towards active travel. The pandemic allowed people to experience quieter, safer and less polluted neighbourhoods. And many cities accompanied the suspension of public transport with measures aimed at promoting active modes of transport. In particular, some cities took the opportunity to accelerate plans to reallocate road space for walking and cycling. We then turned our attention to how we as policymakers, transport operators and employers should plan for an equitable recovery. We found that transport and urban planning policy should move away from building for the commute to building for needs. And the voices of women, children and other underrepresented groups must be reflected in this conversation. While the shift to working from home continues, policymakers need to consider the equity implications where this is only available to higher income workers. And a key element of this will be to create flexible working opportunities for more people across society. At the same time, we looked at how to plan and build for a sustainable recovery. The Roundtable found that we can support customers to return to public transport by focusing on building trust, not just about health and COVID, but also with regard to personal security, by redeploying services to meet new travel demand patterns, building in flexibility and by securing sustainable finance models for providers. To cement the uptake of active travel, the discussion focused on measures to make walking and cycling viable and safe in a variety of climates and for all people. We identified that the provision of infrastructure was key, but the equally important were equity and provision, leadership, community engagement and improved data collection. We also found that there was an opportunity to make permanent the changes that were made during the pandemic, and in particular make sure that the ad hoc and temporary changes are joined up and turned into complete networks. To conclude, it's clear that while the pandemic has impacted all of us, there are opportunities to recover and make transport more equitable and sustainable than before. We will now be working to publish a report of the full findings of this roundtable by the end of the year. Thank you.